And when we think of a glow up, most of us probably think of a makeover or something like that. But in this case, we're talking about films made by female filmmakers. So in today's glow up segment brought to you by Keller Hearth and Home, we're going to toss it over to Carmel. Hi guys, I'm here with Ali Wall. She's from Project B and we are here talking about a great event that involves women and film. Hi Ali. Hi, how are you today? I'm well, thanks for asking. How are you? I'm doing good. Happy to be here. I'm happy that you're here. So tell us about this incredible event that's going to happen. Sure. So on Saturday, we are hosting our second annual Luna Fest here in Minot. Um, and we are really thrilled to bring this event to Minot once again. I am so excited to talk about it. So Ali, explain what Luna Fest is. Sure. So Luna Bars were created in 1999 as the first women's nutrition bar. And with their mission to fuel women's bodies, they created Luna Fest in 2001. Um, and that was to fuel women's ambitions. So Luna Fest is uh, a women's film festival. So the films are focused on uh, women's issues, women's topics. They're produced by women directed by women, women actors, um, and so it is focused on the, the female gender. Luna Fest essentially collects some short films this year. They have seven, um, again, women topics, uh, and they showcase those films. So we will be screening seven Luna Fest films. As a nonprofit organization, we purchase the rights to these films, and then we are able to utilize them as a fundraiser for ourselves. So it's a really interesting concept because we are donating by purchasing the films to their organization, supporting chicken and egg pictures, and then we're able to turn this event into a fundraiser for ourselves. So Luna boasts that um, over their 20 years, because it did start in 2001, that they were able to raise $6 million for, for agencies and organizations. So it is really, really a great it just really interests me, this framework of an event. It will be a drive-in film festival this year. It's going to be uh, on Minot State University campus. Uh, we are going to be screening the films on the dome, so that's very interesting. Um, we have 50 spots available. Wow, I love the whole framework of the event. I love that you guys are helping each other yes. and helping another organization. That is just remarkable. Wow, I love that. So what are you most looking forward to for this year's event? Uh, I'm very excited for this year because we are trying to raise funds for our emergency shelter. If uh, anybody's familiar, our emergency shelter did just open as a warming center for the winter. Um, and so utilizing this event as a fundraiser for that, um, it, it is needed. We need these funds in order to um, keep the building up and running. Things that individuals might not think about utilities and things like that. So we are hoping to raise funds for that um, program that we have uh, and that would be the largest purpose for the event. Um, but it will just be fun to get out into the community. It's nice when there's an event that's a fundraiser because it's fun. It's a fun fundraiser. That's always better than uh, making a donation. You know, you get to experience something with the community. Precisely, yes. And um, how can folks get tickets? Uh, so tickets can be purchased on givebutter.com slash Project B Luna Fest. I would suggest if you're interested in more details about the event um, or purchasing tickets or just learning more about Luna Fest in general to check out our Facebook event page, Project B's Luna Fest, uh, and you can find all the details there. Yep, and they can follow you guys on social media as well yes, to keep up with all great. the amazing things that yes. you guys have. Thank you so much, Allie. It was such a Thank pleasure. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thanks to Keller Hearth and Home for this glow up segment. And for more information, you can visit projectbnd.org. And you can also follow them on Facebook at Project B and D.